So in this video, we are going to talk about the variable naming conventions in the C programming language. Well, generally, the conventions are not restricted with the programming language. But even then, we are going to be showcasing the naming conventions in the C programming language. So let's first talk about some rules or I should say some syntax defined rules for variable naming. So if you look at here, I want to create an integer variable. So what I can do is that my variable can contain alphabets, numbers and underscores. Now there is no rule that confines the naming of the variable to say that the variable should always start with an underscore or always start with a number. Although sometimes the compiler gives you this error line that a variable name cannot start with a number. So this is a syntax rule that a variable name can contain alphabets, numbers and underscores. Other than this, there are no syntax rules for variable namings. However, there are conventional rules. So for variable naming, we have a very simple convention that says that a variable name must always start with an underscore or with an alphabet. Does not matter if the alphabet starts with a capital character or a small character. Which means that we cannot have a variable starting with numbers and followed up by alphabets. It must always start with an alphabet or an underscore. And then we have two different approaches of variable naming convention. One is known as the Pascal convention and the other is known as the Camel convention. So let's write down Pascal convention. Let's also write down the camel convention. We even call it Pascal case and camel case namings. So what is Pascal convention? So basically, let's say that the variable that you want to store is of the name of the admin and you want to store it as that name of admin. So you can say like name of admin. Now to assign this name to the variable according to Pascal convention is that every word must start with a capital case. So basically you would start off with name with a capital N, off with a capital O and admin with a capital A. That is how you would name your variable in the Pascal convention. Now in the camel convention, there is a little difference and that is that the very first word must start with a lower case and all of the other words would start with a capital case. So we can say that this would become name with a smaller n and off with a capital O and admin with a capital A. So this is the camel convention. Now in both of these conventions, there is a mutual concept of naming classes. Now, I know that there are no classes in the C programming language. However, we have something called as structures. Now structures can work as classes in other languages. So the way to actually name classes or I should say structures in the C programming language is that it should only consist of a single word and that word must start with a capital case. So let's say if I want to create a structure for person, then I would not write person with a smaller P. It would be a person with a capital P. However, if you're working with objective C, then there you have classes and then you can write something like class person. So these were the naming conventions. However, I would like to tell you one rule or one syntax rule is that there is no limit on the number of characters that you want to put in a variable name. However, it is recommended to use only 31 characters and that is because compilers oftentimes occur an error while trying to name a variable with more than 31 characters. So that was it for variable naming conventions in the C programming language. 